What's up? Uh, today I just wanted to show you my Cobalt Electronics Repair Kit that I got from Lowe's. Uh, they just started selling these around New Year's Day. They didn't sell these last year at Lowe's. And yes, you can get these at Lowe's, but you cannot get them at Home Depot because they're sold by Cobalt. And Cobalt sells only a lot of... only Cobalt brands. Lowe's... I don't know why, but... Okay, so here it is. Well, let's open it up. So here's the inside of it. It has tweezers, little pry tools. This is also made for like taking apart your phone and repairing that. Uh, has little miniature nut drivers that are really, really small. A lot more smaller than your average nut drivers. Tweezers, stainless steel tweezers, stainless steel pry tool, um, screwdriver, extension bit. Um, this has torque security bits. Uh, it has torx bits. It has. Uh, Tri wing bits. Uh, it has triangle. Um, it has square bits. It has the round bit. It has hex bits. It has slotted and it has Phillips. And regular Torx. If I I don't know if I said that one already, but uh, yeah, it has a lot of bits. It has just about every type of bit that you'd ever need. It has a little suction cup here and uh, a guitar pick. Um, I don't know why, but I've heard a lot of good reports on those things, saying that those are really good for, like, prying open the screen and stuff. Um, this is what I mostly use for my datacom tools and stuff, uh, but I'm slowly building that up. Um, I also wanted to show you a couple other tools. I have my toolbox, um, my, uh, cable cutters, my strip, wire strippers and woolly strippers don't really work very well, but I use them for crimpers, these crimper parts right here, these parts work really well, um, My compression tool, compression tool from Klein Tools. I bought this at Home Depot. Um, my modular crimping tool for phone lines and Ethernet cables. This one's for uh, TV cables, uh, RCA cables, and other cables. Um, this is what I use some, most of the time when I'm, if I don't want to create any arcs, I'll use insulated tools. When I'm working in tight spots, those are small ones. Uh, I have I have a whole insulated toolkit. Uh, I have a bunch of insulated screwdrivers. I normally rearrange these from size to size. Uh, with the sizes and the type. This is supposed to be a seven piece set, I don't know where the seventh one went. And then I have other ones. I'm just gonna show you my whole toolkit, might as well while we're at it. I don't I don't have anything better to do. Uh, where am I? 
other screwdrivers. I have a lot of screwdrivers. I collect screwdrivers. I basically collect screwdrivers. I have long ones. Uh, pair of no wait, not a pair. I mean, some more Torx screwdrivers. They're basically just specialty screwdrivers. Can't make a big deal out of a mole funnel. The rest of my torque screwdrivers. Said, I had tons and tons of screwdrivers. I have like millions of screwdrivers. Uh, and then this is probably gonna be a really long video because my list of tools goes on and on and on and on. My Security bit set that I got from Harbor Freights. I like to get a lot of my tools from Harbor Freights because they're really cheap, but they're very good quality. They're good quality tools at low prices. Um, they're also very useful too. They're extremely useful, actually. Uh. This has like every single type of it you need. Hmm. Come on, so. No. Seems like I'm missing a couple. Come on. Oh no, wait, no, I'm not. I found them. Insulated pliers. Oh, there's my seven screwdriver. Needle nose pliers. Those aren't insulated. These are my insulated needle nose pliers. Had a pair of insulated tag and cut them wires. A miniature pliers set. These are not insulated. And my wire strippers. That's pretty much it for what's about in my toolbox. I have a lot more in my shed. I will be. I will be, uh, I will be filming more videos about, on, out my tools and I'll keep you guys updated. Oh yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.